But by 1791, Wilberforce finally introduced his first bill to actually abolish the slave trade. It was defeated, however, by a vote of 163 to 88. He wasn't anywhere near uh, the votes that he needed to actually cause it to pass. One of the big reasons that it did not pass was because Wilberforce's bill was seen as revolutionary and was therefore seen as being like the French Revolution, going in full force at this time. In fact, Wilberforce was even suspected at various times of being a Jacobin, something that he denied because he wasn't. Still, after this first, or one of many defeats, I should say, he said this. He said, let us not despair. It is a blessed cause and success ere long will crown our exertions. Already we have gained one victory. We have obtained, for these poor creatures, the slaves, the recognition of their human nature. After all, he did finally have people listening to him, which for a while was most shamefully denied. This is the first fruits of our efforts. Let us persevere and our triumph will be complete. Never, never will we desist till we have wiped away the scandal from the Christian name, released ourselves from the load of guilt under which we at present labor, and extinguished every trace of this bloody traffic of which our posterity, looking back to the history of these enlightened times, will scarce believe that it had been suffered to exist so long a disgrace and dishonor to this country. Something that history, of course, does look back on and see as a lengthy disgrace. 